Did you get my review? I will definitely. I will definitely. That's hard work for somebody like me. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thanks. well, I, you know, the trick was I'm sitting there and they wouldn't let me post the view until I'd press the star rating. <laughs> Nobody tells you that, do they? <sighs> These things, it's like learning how, how to properly use a can opener. I just yeah. recently discovered Well, it. there was nothing there to tell me to press those stars. And I should have. <laughs> I hear you. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Here we are in our new segment here, the second half. In our theme of Independence Day, we have the next speech, which is A New Hope by DTM Chulak. He's working on his pathway of motivational strategies, which is to inspire his audience here, us five souls here ready to hear his words. As Toastmaster of the Day, I have the honor to introduce to you today, distinguished Toastmaster Chok Chai, to give his speech, The New Hope. Ladies and gentlemen, we should feed the power to our hope more than our fear, because hope is the power of life, and hope will help you fulfill your dream, give your energy. The new hope is the name of Star Wars episode four. In this episode, it is the time that all the, all the Jedi was this toy and there is only one child who has the power of Jedi. And they believe that he was the chosen person, the chosen one who will come to bring Balan back to the power, to the force. And after we bring Balan back to the force, the situation, the universe will be saved, will be peace. And this is the hope. When we have hope, although we do not know how to go there. But we believe in hope. We have encouragement and we dare to follow our dream. That's why at the end, Luke Skywalker diving a space pilot, the space aircraft go into the Death Star. And the Death Star have only small weak point and Many pilots tried to shoot at the weak point, but they was shooting and they was destroyed until Luke Skywalker was the last pilot. He liked, he liked his best car, best airship, and he called navigator. Oh, the control tower said that open navigator, but he believed in his force, he believed in his mind. So he go, he, he liked the pilot, he liked the airplane by his institution. And finally, he can go, go to the center of the star and he can choose to the small point, small weak point. And he is the person who can destroy the Death Star. He can do this because he believed in his hope. He believed in his thing. He believed that he is the chosen person who will bring back Balan to the force. If you think, if you believe in your dream, you will have power. Ladies and gentlemen, do not scare to make your dream. Make your dream and follow your dream. If your dream cannot scare you, they are too small. If your goal cannot challenge you, there is no thing. Only the thing that challenge you 
can improve you. Try to follow your dream. After you make your dream, try to create the positive picture in your mind. Such as you are going to be a speaker. Create the picture that you can, you can, you can be a good speaker. You can speak well. You can do it. Wow, people like you. And act as if it happened. Although your dream haven't happened yet, but you make the picture that your dream have happened, and you act as if your dream has happened already. It will make you become more confident. Of course, of course, I can do it. I will be a good speaker. I will improve my life. Give the good words to yourself. This is self-talk, good self-talk. Tell yourself that you can do it. You are good enough to be the best person. You deserve to be happy. You can control yourself. Today is Independent Day. Is it a good chance for us to be independent from fear? We should be from fear. We should be better. We should control our mind. And at the end, after this, you will thank you to yourself. You will be grateful to yourself. Wow, this is really good that we have practiced. We, we set our dream and we follow our dream. That is why we should make our dream, follow our dream. Invest in ourselves. We are the only thing that, that is good, good place to invest because when we deem, we try to follow our dream, although it's happened or not happened, we know that if it not happen today, it will happen tomorrow. You will success. Tell yourself that you can do it. If you tell repeatedly, tell to yourself that you can do it. You gain more confidence. You have more power. You try to make yourself to be proud, act as if you are a successful person, hold yourself that you can do it. And finally, you will gain more confidence and you can do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what it is, whatever you wish to do, you can do it. Just have Confidence. Don't master of the day, please. The new home. The new home. Thank you very much for your speech today. It's always a pleasure to hear them and the crafting that you do in building them, as well as every version that you improve. We see each difference. We do. For our next speech, we have our new president, Toastmaster Young, giving his speech today on the leadership development path, effective body language. And the title of his speech today is Release Your Potential. Toastmaster Young and President Young, to you. Um, yes, uh, before that, I could ask uh, P, uh, former president, General, uh, could you? Time for me, please. Okay. Have you ever been like this? 
I should never say no that uh, Shan to be a teacher, but today is too late. And I should never say negative with things. I should follow that dream, but I was coward to do that. Lady and gentlemen, I was similar on that situation. I never used my ability to do something that I thought it should be. So tonight, I would like to share with you, if you never use your potential, or you never thought, or even you will not use your potential, tonight you might think twice. You know that I was a very good subject player. So how come I didn't follow my soccer player? Let's start how I truly believe I was a very good soccer player. When I was at elementary school, we got year seven, year eight, year nine, year 10, year 11, and year 12. I got eight, I was eight years old. I was waiting the teacher to call me to play soccer. I always exercise or try to practice, wait for him to call me. And when he called me first time, I never get out from the field. I mean, I play with them, play with nine years old, 10 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old, because I love to play. You can imagine I can play soccer anywhere on the soccer field, on the soccer field, on the farm rice, I can play. I can play in the dark, even no light, because we love to play. And you can imagine, I can play everywhere, how much skill I will gain. You can imagine that. So, I like to say, how did I say I'm very good in soccer, soccer uh, player? If I play soccer every time, I think I am the boss in that field. I can read people like where, how they gonna run, come to me. I can pass the ball, pass their leg. You can imagine that. But, this potential never uses because you can imagine when I was young and lived in the village. We had to, at the time I was in the area that are not many jobs. So I had to think which way I have to go, go to play soccer or to find a job to study. So you can imagine live in a village and if you only play soccer, what about your family? What are they gonna eat? So I follow to work and to study, but I leave what I was very good at. And what happened? Every time I watch people when they play soccer in television, you know what I feel? I, I feel I can play better than this. But just thinking and just sorry for myself. And sometimes I think about to tell my wife to give me a son so I can release to my son. But I never got my son. I got two daughters. Think about that. So I could not do anything. So I didn't use my ability to play soccer that I thought I was very good at soccer player. And what I used to work hard, yes, I work hard 
and to study hard because I want to think about future. I give you a formula one to be a good student or a better student, or you can fight for anyone about studying. Don't worry about smart. Just worry about working better than them or work more than people. Then you will get what you want. If you study hard more than people, you will be better than anyone. So for now, I am in the place of the world of public speaking skill. I come here because of I want to use English for my work. Absolutely, because I want to communicate with my client. I don't know this is my true potential or not. But when I do this way, I know it's hard. I know it's nervous. I know it's scared, but I feel something. I feel something in the future. Something nice will happen to me. And especially I would like, I love to communicate with people. I love to say hi with people, even they don't know me. So I thought maybe I can be something, but to be something, I have to use whatever I have to pass on this gate to be better on public communication. So besides that, I got my work. And besides this, I try to improve, but I'm happy to, to be able to do both. And I hope one day I will never feel sad as I didn't use my ability to play soccer. And if everyone here think like me, if you never use your ability, use it and to become something that you might want to be and you will never upset as I am. Back to you. That was an amazing speech, original, fresh for us to hear, and amazing. Really, really releasing your potential is an amazing concept for everyone to adhere to. Absolutely. Okay, I guess I'm introducing myself now. <laughs> um, so we have the next speech for me is on the level four of leadership the leadership pathway, and it's about the leading your team segment. Today, my speech is titled, 12 failures in a row make one success. And Toastmaster of the day, and uh, I will go ahead and speak, this is awkward. Kuncha Tarat, I'm, I'm surprised you did this really, really quite well. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, give me a moment to collect myself and then I'll begin. Um, Toastmaster Young will be the timer, right? Back to you. Yep, thank you. Thank you, esteemed Toastmasters. Who is the, hold on, who is the PE for Toastmaster Paul? Toastmaster oh, Chula. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's panel, panel. Panel, yeah. Oh, it's a panel. Okay, nice. Thank you, the panel. I submit to myself the respect and honor of the panel. 12 failures in a row make one success. Thank you, esteemed Toastmasters, for having me here today, enabling me to speak before you. I have failed so many times in leading my team, I have lost actual count. On our team, we have 11 different nationalities with 11 different types of passports. Diversity is strength. And it is one of the hardest things to manage I have ever done in my life. 
and I fail in leading them every day. In our meetings and work, I can imagine that one team member is learning English, another is improving their Thai, one's in the bathroom on Instagram, and another is dreaming about being on a beach with no responsibilities. That's me, by the way. Sarangayo! Ah, I love Sabai Sabai life. In a startup, a growing business, and a small work family. Professional and personal motivations really start to blur. Sometimes the line between work and personal identity mix. And it's hard to figure out what's what. How to synchronize the efforts of 21 different souls. Over 40 people, depending on my decisions. If you start including kids, parents, and grandparents. From creating a new sign on our street front to negotiating the takeover of an international school campus. These four elements teach me every day in each of my failures. Communication. I have to be clear. Integrity. My father always said to me, always walk away trying to be the bigger and better man. An open mind. You have to have an open mind and optimism. Got to be hopeful. You can't focus on what's bad about people because it always goes to shit. This constantly evolving growth mindset, I hope, is all backed up by humility and being humble. Because in every scenario, it's important to maintain a healthy, logical third perspective that protects you. For me, it's George and Betty. George and Betty are the third perspective for me where they're PhD scientists and they're looking at a situation that I'm in and they think, hey, you're not that bad. Or, hey, that's interesting. I'm going to remember that for later. Or, you know, what you said there is actually the truth. They are protecting me, reminding me of what's fair and right. Because they would agree what most people would say was a good move. This outside perspective says you're not crazy. You're fine. In all of this, there are a couple of things I've learned. People never like it when you tell them what to do. And two, problems and solutions are inherently married. Opposite sides of a way to a positive outcome. People need to come up with a solution themselves. Why? Because the solution we find ourselves is the most satisfying. Anything less leads to more stuff you have to deal with eventually. So my failures. The first way I failed in managing work was a simple paper to-do list. And I learned how I communicate work impacts how I lead how I achieve respect, and how we earn trust. Respect is a two-way street. If asking for respect from you, you're getting respect from me too. The following 10 failures were a combination of Trello, Japanese Kanban boards, Microsoft to do, to eventually writing 
30,000 words for a company's bylaws, processes, and procedures and protocol, which I am happy to report is another goddamn failure. No one reads it, but it's there. So in summary, here's what I learned. People hate to-do lists and management systems that create accountability. A leader must guide a team and team members to the solution of their design. And lastly, today, the partnership is the best way. You find someone of complementary skill sets, ethics, and a mutual understanding of aims. You both will find a way there. With each partnership, layering inside of a team, you build a system that can accomplish goals, small and large. And remember, when you fail 12 times, maybe the unlucky 13th is the one that works. Thank you, Toastmasters. So, Paul, you can call for GE now. Thank you very much. I just got tired. <laughs> Toastmaster of the day, returning to duties. It's where we have finished our, finished our speaking program of the day. Three speeches given by our Toastmasters of this club. And we have this collective spirit where we're all random people who come together to share in this skill and passion. And I thank you for being here. The next segment for us is our meeting evaluation. We have our general evaluator, timers report, our personal evaluators, potentially an all counters report, better English, and closing of the day. Thank you very much. I'll pass it on to our general evaluator of the day. Take it away, sir. Mr. Toastmaster of the days <laughs> and friends. Yes. So <laughs> nice to join this meeting. I believe that we learn from each other. We only have six people but we have three billion speech, speeches and five very good table topic participants. It's wonderful. It's the best of the best in a small room. Mm. And without much ado, I would like to explain that we need to have this, I will, I and my team will act like a mirror to show to you what you have done. Anything good, keep and go on. Anything need improvement and you think is correct, then improve. And then we are more than happy to help you. Starting with the first person in my team is the timekeeper. Timekeeper, Toastmaster Young, please report the time. Thank you very much, Mr. General Evaluator. So time is very important, time is precious. At table topic section, I would like to report this way. The first respondent, DTM Shinarat, she took two minutes and 29 seconds. The second one, Toastmaster Paul, he took two minutes and 16 seconds. The third one, CTM Trevor, he took two minutes and 15 seconds. Next one, CTM Chok Chai, he took two minutes and 23 seconds. Last one, Toastmaster Yong, he took one minute and three seconds. And next one for the speech session. The first speaker, CTM Chok Chai, he took seven minutes and 14 seconds. The second one, Toastmaster Yong, he took seven minutes and 31 seconds. And last one, Toastmaster Paul, he took 
six minutes and 58 seconds. Back to you, Mr. General Evaluator. Thank you very much for your very concise time report. From the quality of time used, we can see that everyone, each and every one of us have improved a great deal. We have used time excellently. And even though with the starting with the table topic, okay, nobody, almost all use two minutes and something. Only those master young, one minute and something. But to combine all together, everybody, you divide by five, then everybody use two minutes. That's wonderful. wonderful. Keep a big round of approach to you. I didn't expect to hear such a good answer since you didn't know the subject well. And I intentionally bring you the painting. All this painting is a very difficult sought after painting. It's painted by the very great painter. If you go to the cooker, you type the name, you know that uh, all these painting are very precious and very difficult to find. So this evening, I love all answer, starting from the fighting of the kings in the ancient time by using 11. Explained by Toastmaster Chindale, she, she talked like an expert. So even if we have a foreigner who didn't know the culture, then they will understand. Then come to the harvesting right by Paul. Oh, you explained so well, you know. Deep inside you not only talk about the rice field, you talk about your own feeling uh, and then match with the painting. That is wonderful. So you are very imaginative. You have many good imagination. Then come to the third one, the girl asking travel. Oh, you are the best person to answer this one. This painting, many, many people gave a big like because she's so calm, you know? She sit like meditating and she's so beautiful, the color of the paintings matching. And then if you look at the painting, then you have some peaceful mind. And travel has, got the feeling to talk about it, to compare with your daughter. After this, I will send you this painting. Then you show to your daughter that, dear, look at this painting. <laughs> and then if you can do it for five minutes, that day will give you some cake, special cake for you, okay? Then I will send you this one. I think your daughter will like it. Then come to the fourth one, Loi Katong, another one. He should be the expert to explain the tradition of Loi Katong. Actually, it's nothing than we want to thank the river. We have been using the river for so long. And in one year, we pray to the God of the river to thank them to give us the water to use so. Very good explanation. I like your answer very much for Roy Gatong. Chok Chai, Toastmaster Chok Chai. Then uh, we have the, the girl sitting with the boat and then asking Toastmaster Yong, you also have very good imagination, but <laughs> you use only one minute and three seconds. What happened? With your imagination, you can go along. When I look at this painting, I 
at first I like it very much. And then I think, oh, the girl will think of her future, that uh, how the light bulb will bring her, you know, the way she sit uh, dreaming of the future. So impressive, right? So I, I wish next time you talk a little more. Then we come to the last one. Oh, last one already. The last one, nobody answered. The sixth painting, waiting for the next time. Okay, so I think everybody enjoy the table topic, right? Yeah, give your, all of you a big loud of applause. Very good answer. I don't expect to have so good response from you. Now, we come to the prepare speech. The prepare speech this evening, we have three excellent speaker. Everybody try so hard and they really prepare. Not just come and take it easy. They really prepare for it. So for the first one, the New Hope Toastmasters, uh, competent Toastmaster Chok Chai. I have the helping hand of Toastmaster Jindalat. Please evaluate. Dear General Evator, excuse me. Can you have the second PE first? Because I am online with okay. the insurance. Thank you okay, so much. Okay. okay. So uh, for the second one, Toastmaster Yong. Toastmaster Yong, I have the helping hand of this Mr. Yes Man. He got no problem at all time. So Trevor, please evaluate Toastmaster Young. I will do that, General Evaluator, BTM Chulak, and Mr. Young's speech tonight. That's an improvement. It really is. I like the way the speech was complete and relatively simple. There wasn't too much in there, but you spread it out and got us right into the story. You understand? Because really you're only talking about the soccer and the potential and combining them and you didn't bring in a lot of other stuff. So that was great because you need the message to connect with the big example and the second thing you did was great tonight. It was personal again. It was about you. We're all sticky beaks. We want to know about you. That's why we listen to speakers most of the time. Great construction. What you used tonight was the past. Then you went into the present. And then you talked about the future in your speech. Excellent stuff. I mean, keep it up. You open with a question. Hey, does uh, have you ever been like this? Well, we could modify all of that and make it a little bit better, but that's great. Very good you became a, a soccer player. This is all in the past. It was a nice flow. And when you talk about, I can play anywhere, the rice fields, even in the dark. Great. That's a good example of how talented you were, but you didn't use it. And I noticed the emotion when you said, I, I watched every time I watched the game. Big pause you should have had then. I get, you know, I wish I was there. I knew I could probably have done something with that. But no, no that's fine. A uh, little bit regretful you had a son and two daughters. You know, daughters can play soccer. I'll have you know they do. So be careful with that one. Your two daughters both could be marvellous soccer players. They have women playing now. And you're talking about, well, you put yourself into study hard, work hard. Now the ending, I've just put another ending in there for you. Everyone, everyone, please become something with your life. Follow your dreams and use your potential. That would have been a slightly better ending. But overall, 
what an improvement. I really, really think you have improved no end with that speech. Look forward to the next one. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Trevor. I agree in most of the things that Trevor mentioned. And Toastmaster Young, congratulations for your great improvement. And this evening, I wish to see you stood up and use your action. And this evening, you really use it wonderfully. Very good. Then you, little bit by bit, tell us how you did things. Like you like the football so much, you dream of the right field, so on and so forth, but you have to stop because you have a family to take care. So you need to uh, put it in the imagination and go on. And wish that one day your son will come and take turn, take your dream and follow. But then you have the daughter. You, you, you should not regret because now the girl, soccer team is very famous. So you can let your daughter train to be the soccer. So I like the way you deliver the speech. Uh, I think Trevor gave excellent evaluation. So just listen to him and improve. Then you will be a very good speaker. We all proud of you. Give a big hand, round of applause to Young. Okay, now Tindalan, are you ready? Yes, please, uh, Toastmaster Jindarat to evaluate the first speaker, Toastmaster Shokchai. Thank you, General Evaluator. And especially our first speaker, competent Toastmaster Chokchai, you have done great job and I would like to congratulate to you for your speech. Inspire your audience with the title, The New Hope. I love your speech so much. When I listened to all your speech, I discovered and note that you are a great story storyteller. You give an example and you always illustrate from the famous movie and in your speech this time you use Star Wars which many people or even all of us here in the meeting watched these movies. What I learned from his speech is that the new hope for him is to set dream, to follow dreams, and to invest in your dream, to do all the things. And another thing that you mentioned, you said that if you follow your dream and think that I can do it, I will be a good speaker, I can do it, and you can, will be able to do it, you will succeed in your dream. And that is why your inspiration to the audience, especially me, I follow your speech and I will also follow my dream as well. When you fail or you couldn't succeed, in one time, just practice more often and you will get it at the end of any, any day or any time. So keep on doing it. Congratulations. I hope to listen to your speech. You can do it. Yes. Thank you. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much. Distinguished Toastmaster Chindalat for your very good evaluation. I agree with 
Toastmaster Chindalat in almost all respects. And the way you mentioned, even though we didn't have acquaintance with the Jedi, I, I myself only watched one time and then I forgot already. But when you mentioned, then I know that uh, we don't have to know anything about Jedi, but we know that if you want to drive the plan, the, the plan in the Star War, you know, then you must have the dream and you must follow the way, like the follow of your conscience to go for success. And then you think that if everyone think they can succeed, they will be successful. That is very good. And uh, with the evaluation of Toastmaster Chindalat, you have covered all. Congratulations, Toastmaster Chindalat. Very good evaluate, uh, evaluator. Then give a big hand to Toastmaster Chindalat. Then we come to panel speech, evaluation. Oh, this is rather, rather tough, rather difficult, rather complicated subject, but you can make it so simple. Okay, anyone would like to evaluate? Paul, please. Yeah, Trevor. Well, first, the voice is fantastic. You've got a very refined voice, very clear. And I hear every word. There's nothing spoken in haste. So that is a really, really good start to speaking. I feel you actually have your own style as well and stick with the style. Don't try and copy anybody else. Be you every time you speak. I like the pace of your speaking as well. It, it works really well. And it's personal. You are talking personal. Keeps people interested. It's a little bit like a story, but I think... For some people, you've skipped over too many things too fast. In other words, there's too much information that you've skipped over, especially when you make statements like diversity is strength, and then you move on. Well, what, what, what? You know, we need to know what the heck is that? And I love the section where you never tell them what to do and let them find their own solution, et cetera. That's that's fine too. That that all works, but I just think a little bit too much information, and we need to simplify the speech so that people have a main message to really take home. But I guess in the end, you said, "Well, I failed twelve times, and I found the key." I rather like that. So maybe if you twist it around a little bit, you too. Ladies and gentlemen, can fail 12 times and the key, you can find the key. But you never know. You might only fail four times and find the key. Who knows? But something a little bit like put it on the audience for the ending would have made it a little bit better. I like it. I love the speech. I, I love your style. Keep your style and keep putting in even things like my father told me, walk away. Very nice, very nice. So, yep, I just simplify the speech a bit rather than put in too many things. That's that's all I'd do with that and keep your style. Back to you, General. So, so it is Trevor evaluation, not the panel, because he himself alone using all the time. <laughs> but, but I think everybody agree with Trevor. It's wonderful speech and it's very difficult to deliver, except that you must know the thing really well. You accept to fail 12 times in order to win. 
the 13th time, that is the very hardship and patience. And that is the good message for us all. Yeah. Give a big round of applause to travel first and then to Paul, the speaker. Yeah. So everyone today, if anybody didn't come today, it's a pity because we learn a lot of things from only six of us. Unbelievable. A good meeting. No need to have too many people. Uh, but we have the feeling, the cut to share, that's the important things. Yeah, then we have, do we have the R and R report? General, general evaluator. Yes. Can I add some more on the comments? On the comments? Yeah, uh, on uh, the panel. Okay, the last one, the last one. The last one, because, because sorry, I should break travel. Because he, he flows so well, so let him go. Okay. Yes, I can just add on only one, one thing is that for Toastmaster Pro, when you want to emphasize on your speech, as the topic said, leading your team, and then you said that two things that people you observe is people don't like being told to do things. You can emphasize and stress on it with the with high tone or whatever, and your face as well. This one will give you an uh, I would say emphasize emphasis to the audience that you are doing the leading your team. Yep, thank you. Back to you, General. Barrett. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I would like to ask uh, the R and R report. Do we have? Yes, please. General writer, ladies and gentlemen, R, R, um, and other unnecessary words is something really boring in the speech. It will make us I will make our speech become less value. So we should try to not utter ah, uh, um. If you would like to utter ah, uh, um, just pause a little bit and your speech will be better. Today, I am very really lucky because everyone is good and skillful speaker. So, no one utter uh, 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 more than T time. So everyone has done a really good job. So thank you for everyone. May I return the control to General Director, please. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Shok Chai, for your very really efficient report. Then we have the better English, of course, by our teacher, Trevor, please. Well, you're not getting taught tonight, unfortunately, General Evaluator. I was, I was half, actually half, half by you and half by Paul. Oh, yeah. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. I actually didn't copy much down tonight at all. Unfortunately, I was too busy doing other evaluating things that I didn't end up covering, and so I didn't get around to better English. So I'm going to leave it to Toastmaster yeah. Paul. Okay, Toastmaster Paul, please. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't say all right. I'm sorry, Trevor. <clears throat> For better English this evening, we have focusing on strengths is one of the common patterns and things that I've tried to focus on over the last six months every time I've done the grammarian section. So with our strengths today, I would see that Kun Chok Chai and Kun Yong, the way that you guys speak is starting to become smoother and smoother and smoother. As a professional English teacher that interviews people on a regular basis, your words per minute, your flow, your intonation, as well as your grammatical accuracy are very much improving. That's really good. So like milestone recognition is just as important as practical correction. So yeah, taking a moment to do that, I think it's really good. Kuchokchai uh, or Kuchulak, um, you know, there's never, ever really been a problem with your English. Um, the only observation I can really say is going to be it's faster, right? Uh, that's what I noticed from maybe earlier this year 
uh, earlier, late last year to now, right, would be that, again, your words per minute is also faster as well, right, words per minute, right, which is a good target, right, it's a good target. Some people, they have different WPMs, right, and it depends on your audience for sure. Yes, but uh, it's an international thing, definitely. Okay, Kunchidarat, uh, your presentation English, the only thing I have on the gra grammarian section is not really grammar at all, it's phraseology. It's gonna be that I didn't fully appreciate being able to switch roles before until I tried today, right? And it, it is quite difficult. So phraseology, you know, very nice. Even those clean phrases to switch in between, Right. That is the experience that I see, and I'll try to keep note of that as well. Okay, all right, and we didn't do a word of today, so I, ah, man, I think everybody's been busy. We'll we'll do one next time. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Give a big round of applause to Paul. Actually, I have something to confess. Uh, last week, I blur. I got in, punctual, try to open all the room, nobody. I, I joined uh, Thai Airway, also nobody. Lam Pong, also nobody, you know? Then I thought, oh, I blur, it's not that. And then my computer, I didn't leave it completely. So today I tried to join when I opened, I didn't have to do anything, it come but it won't work. Today I came 15 minutes earlier, but I could not get in. I could get in the picture by myself. I could not get contact with other until I leave everything. I shut the computer down and reopen again oh. and rejoin again. Then I got you. Sorry about that. That uh, keep you late for a while and so complicated. Yeah, mm -hmm. with that, I would like to return the control to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, General Evaluator. Your theme in working with your team for this evaluation session is consistent, and I think it's a very strong one. It, yeah, I mean, like 63 years, you've probably been seeing it it's it's really amazing so the next part here is that we have that general evaluation session done and we've gone through all of our meetings today and all of our sections i think we've done a great job everyone yes 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 absolutely and we have those three full speeches everything is smooth and going quite well i think i relieved my duties today as toastmaster of the day and I'll go ahead and transfer it over to the president to freestyle us out. Okay. Just now you mentioned about 63. You mean my age? I mean uh, the research I did in the age of the club. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you very much for your uh, session and for you are to be Toastmaster today. Please, everyone, give him a big round of applause. <laughs> And before I close the meeting, I would like to say, uh, this is my personal, uh, I would like to say, uh, please, uh, if, because I, I am strongly believe that this place, this place can produce something special in the future. And if anyone got any comment or got any, something we can share and we can build, because I think, is gonna be something because this is, we practice to be something. And tonight, anyone want to say something before we close? Don't forget to do the reviews, guys. <laughs> Don't okay. forget to do the reviews. Um, I'm on the back end for all the Google stuff and uh, marketing. Don't worry. Um, just, I'm the janitor, guys. Okay. All right. I'm the janitor. As, as I am the vice president membership. So I need your help, Paul. Try to bring more names. Okay, I'll send them to your phone number, okay? I, I, I believe anybody just get into our room, then they will get stuck. They will get stuck and they will come 
I think if they get into a phone call with you, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll um I'll pull up your phone number and then stick that in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can can. Okay. Okay. What, what a what attracts me to meetings is enthusiasm. And when when you come to a place and there's a lot of enthusiasm and friendliness at the same time, wow, that's hard hard to ignore. So that's the best thing. Mm. Thank you, Trevor. We need your help too. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not much help in the media wise, but um, have we got our club? If our club could, pre- I like clubs that present themselves in Facebook, posting in Facebook, so that it comes up as a post about two days before the meeting. Because sometimes some clubs post in the Facebook and the meeting's already over by the time I see it. So you've got to do it two days before, and that that works. I, I, I do believe it does work. So, so it should that, be interesting. That that, that means that mean we we want to be uh, we want to do meeting in live. I mean live meeting, right? Oh uh, no, no. I was just saying posting in Facebook to attract members, whether you're doing a live meeting or a online meeting. Um, but you know you've got to do it two days before because. I keep seeing posts of meetings I've missed. You know, I mean, I see the posts and the meeting's already over. (laughs) And that keeps happening over and over again. I think, how do they do that? So you've got to put it in there two days before, apparently, and make sure it spreads around, yeah. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, because it needs to be as close to the meeting as possible when they see it. And I like the... I used to have some success at promoting meetings as success, a pathway to success, not just learning English or anything else, because what do every what does every successful person have in common? They can communicate, particularly communicating their ideas and everything else. Some people are attracted by that. Mm-hmm. And I had a, I had some success in Australia attracting people to meetings years and years ago by using the word success. And it, and it did work. Mm. But I did all sorts of things in Australia. I posted, I, I used to go around apartment blocks near, the, near where the Toastmaster Club was meeting and put a letter in every box. And sometimes I'd hand out 500 letters. <laughs> and you might get, out of 500, you might get five, maybe more, but only five out of 500. When you think about it. So you've got to really, you really put in the effort. There's a lot of, there is lonely people sitting there in their apartments that need somewhere, they need an outlet. And funnily enough, Toastmasters could be it. Anyway, guys, uh, it's a meeting over, is it? Or we? Uh... Yep. Thank you very much. No, so, good. I mm. would like to adjourn the meeting. Thank you very much. No Photo, worries. please. Okay. Okay. Ah. So he's taking a photo. I don't know. Who's <laughs> taking a photo. I already took two photos. Thank oh, did you? All right, guys. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, you got, you so got to be you nice. See you next meeting, 19th July. Yeah, you got to be careful taking those photos sometimes because I see some photos with the top of my head like this because <laughs> I'm, I'm writing or something. <laughs>